So I call for, number one, for the university to be complicit in what we ask for, and that is to release the records of what they do so that they're not hiding behind them, so that we can at least see what they're doing and make a, make a judgment. And number two, that Dr. Yench retire and that he return the money and have it earmarked for the treatment of my patients and patients of other doctors who go without treatment. Uh, Dr. Yench, Dr. Yench is looking for a pill to treat addiction. There will, there will never be a pill to treat addiction. There are pills to treat different forms of dependency on different medications, but addiction is so complex a procedure, there are whole books, hundreds and hundreds of pages written on, on, on addiction. How can you possibly cure or even successfully treat it with a, with a pill? Plus the fact there are pills out there for uh, especially alcohol addiction, but for other dependencies as well, that most people can't afford. So why spend money on research to find more treatments that more people can't afford? Why not allow people to afford themselves of psychotherapy, psychopharmacology, therapeutic communities, various other methods, uh, uh, AA, Al-Anon, various other, other method methods that we have now uh, that most people can't afford? So it is completely topsy-turvy. Topsy the money goes really to support people who are uh, hurting animals, maiming animals, accomplishing nothing, but helping to support themselves and their universities, while people who really need the treatments and who would, would gladly volunteer for human clinical research, whereby they, they could get a treatment for nothing, and if the treatment worked, they would be eligible for that treatment for free for the rest of their life. That is where the money should be going. But unfortunately, 47% of it uh, goes to animal research, and this has to stop. So I call upon this university to phase out animal research and to replace it with human clinical research and epidemiological research and many, many other forms of so-called alternatives, which are really improvements that would, number one, help human beings, and number two, stop the massacre of the animals. Thank you. UCLA has blood on its hands.